I'm Gismik Pia. I'm assistant professor in Bivok Software Development System Administration in MS College, Marmadi. Pro, uh, let's start with the data communication. Data communication part two. Uh, we moving on to this topic. The contents are what is networks, network criteria, then transmission environments. Uh, let's move to the first topic network a network is a set of devices we all know that the set of connection devices it is network that is offered to a that is nodes the set of devices also called the nodes connected by a communication link that is called a networks a node can be well, that device or that node can be a computer printer or any other set of input devices sending or receiving data generated by other nodes on the network. Network is a set of devices connected by the communication link is also called a network. The links connecting the net nodes are known as communication channels. The aim of computer network is to share the resources among the various devices or various nodes. The computer networks uses distributed processing in which task is divided among several computers. Task is divided among the different different devices or different different computers. Instead, the single computer handle an entire task. Each separated computer handles subset. So, the network is a set of devices connected by the communication link. Then, advantages of distributed processing. That network distribute the process to several devices. Then, advantages of distributed processing is that first one, security. Second one, faster problem solving. Third one, security through redundancy. Security means it provides limited interaction that user can have their entire system. Example, bank allow user to access their own accounts through the ATM without allowing to access the entire database of the bank that provides security. Another one, faster problem solving. Multiple computers can solve the problem faster than the single machine work, working alone. Then uh, next one, security through redundancy. Multiple computers running the same program at the same time can provide security through redundancy. Example, four computer run the same program and any computer have hardware error, they can compute override it. If different computers working on the same program but any one of that computer failure but other computer can override it that is the security through redundancy that is the advantages of distributed processing first one security second one fast problem solving third one security through the redundancy then moving to the next topic network criteria to be considered an effective and efficient network we met to set one network criteria these are mainly there are three different criteria there are performance reliability and third one security first one performance performance can be measured in many ways including the transmit time and response time the response time and the transmit time that is the performance can be measured transmit transit time is the amount of time required for message to travel from one node or one device to another that is the transit time the amount of data transited to the amount of time one device to another that is called the transmit time then response time is elapsed between the inquiry and the response inquiry and the response that is the response time these two times transit and the response time is used to measure the performance of the network 
the performance of the network depending on the number of factors they are number of users used the transmission medium which type of transmission medium we can use the then another one is capabilities of connected hardwares capabilities of connected hardware and the efficiency of the software first one number of users used which transmission medium used then capabilities of the connected hardwares then efficiency of the software second network criteria is reliability reliability can be measured by the frequency of failure the time it take to recover the from failure failure is the time to recover from failure the network robustness and uh, robustness then third one network criteria is security the security can be issued including protecting the data from unauthorized access damages and the development and the virus that is means the security then these are the network criteria performance reliability and the security these are the network criteria that consider the effective and efficiency of the network using the these network criteria one of first one performance second one reliability third one the security then moving on to the next topic transmission impairment moving on to the next topic transmission impairment transmission impairment occurs when the received signal is different from the transmitted signals the transmitted signals and the received signals are there is different that may be occur in the transmission impairment in analog signal due to transmission impairment the resulting received signal get different amplitude or the different shape in the case of digit digitally transmitted signal at the receiver side we go change to zero or one there may be cause of transmission impairments are three types attenuation distortion and finally noise first one moving on to the attenuation it means the loss of energy it means the loss of energy in that figure the point first point second point and third point first point we go to the center that is the original signal through the transmission media receiver is the second point there is there is a change in the amplitude energy there is a change in the energy of the or sended signal that is attenuated signal the strength of the signal decreases with the increasing distance which causes the loss of energy in overcoming the resistance of the medium this is also known as attenuated signal attenuation is measured by the decibel that is db it measures the relative strength of the two signals or one signal at different point we use the amplifier to to the signal to attenuated signal that can be made to original signal second one distortion it means the change in the form of or shape of the signal there is a change in shape the signal it is generally used to the composite signal distortion mainly composite signal the composite signal the sender side and the figure is at the receiver side there is a change in the shape of the signal that is distortion last one is noise noise is the unwanted signal or random signal that mix up with the original signal is called noise there are several type of noise such as induced noise cross talk thermal noise and the impulse noise which may corrupt the signals signal to noise ratio that is snr it is a ratio of the signal power to the noise power that means snr is equal to 
average signal power divided by the average noise power. The noise is the unwanted signals or random signal. That means the noise. Finally, thank you. Uh, we moving on to this topic. Uh, networks. What is networks? Network criteria and the transmission environment. Thank you.